So I just watched uh, Only Yesterday, um, a film by Isao Takahara and uh, general producer is Ayao Miyazaki. Uh, this film was made in 1981. Um, in the bottom here it says, from the creators of the tales of the Princess Kaguya and Spirit Away. And actually, I do have Princess Kaguya right here, which I'm hoping to watch um, next time. Um, so looking for that one. This film, uh, according to Devin Coggan uh, from EW, is gorgeous, a rare and powerful film. Uh, I agree with that. There's a lot of very beautiful images, a lot of details. Um, and one thing I realized about these types of films from Studio Ghibli is that it has a very realistic tone to it. Um, it almost feels like they are filming it uh, in real life, except that there are animated characters and it provides a very realistic feel and look to it. And this film definitely is uh, a slice of life. Uh, description is, um, having her live her whole life in the city, 27 year old Kaiko Daisy Ridley, uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Decides to visit her relatives in the countryside. As she travels, memories of her youth resurface. And after meeting young farmer Toshio, that fatal slumdog millionaire, she wonders if she's been true to the dreams of her childhood self. Deftly switching between past and present, only yesterday is a masterpiece of time and tone, rich in humor and stirring emotion, and beautifully animated by Studio Ghibli, one of the world's most revered animation studios. From Academy Award nominated director Isao Takahara, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, and general producer Ayao Miyazaki, this critically acclaimed film has never been released in North America until now, in celebration of this 25th anniversary. So this film uh, was made in 1991, uh, it's been out for almost 30 plus years now. Uh, it's rated PG for thematic elements, some rude behavior, and smoking. Uh, the smoking was pretty pretty constant at times with uh, the dad smoking and also, um, was it Toshio? Uh, yeah, Toshio, one of the main, the main male character, um, smoking at the end of the scene. Other than that, it was not that much smoking, only a few scenes. Um, there was one scene that was... Um, was it rude behavior, I guess you can say that? Um, where the dad was slapping um, the main character, Ta uh, Taiko. Um, that part was pretty strong theme. Um, it was a two hour uh, long uh, movie. I sat through the whole of it. And what I really enjoy about it is um, in movies like this, I think it's one of the few movies, if not the only one, where a majority of the movie was um, a flashback of the past. And it really talk about the influence of how much family impacted this young girl and who she is today. Um, several scenes, such as the part where she was eating the pineapple or she was so excited about joining the, the university play, but her dad was adamant about not supporting her. Many scenes where she was arguing with the sister, that scene where the dad slapped her, um, the way her mom keep teaching her about all these different rules and um, at one point calling her kind of dumb because she did not do fractions properly. Um, Taiko was just really trying her best to show off her skills. She was really good at writing. She was very good at uh, performing, but she was never really recognized that at home and often being compared to and um, often giving hand-me-downs by the sister. She felt a little bit left out and uh, it impacted who she was. At 27 year old, which is still relatively young, she was not, she didn't have a boyfriend yet at that time. And so at the end, you know, when she did decide to stay in the, in the village, uh, they didn't talk much about what that really meant, except that she chose to go back. Uh, it's a really powerful uh, description of how she chose to go to a time when it was simpler and she can just truly be who she was. Um, I like the ending to some degree. I did feel like was a strong connection between him and uh, between Taiko and Toshio. Uh, it was very well um, connection. Uh, it was not explicitly clear. Um, lots of moments throughout the movie just kind of like felt connected to the character. I think the younger version of her 
want her to live her dreams and to transform and be a butterfly and and be someone that is not afraid to speak of herself and as she grew older she basically just did that um became who she was and it was just beautiful to watch her transformation it's definitely different there was not a lot of actually no action in here no fighting nothing like that it was just a slice of life um a lot of uh somewhat drama per se uh between the sisters and school children uh very typical stuff uh boys making fun of girls very real things that connected to the heart oh you know i enjoyed this a lot um it's one of those lower paced movies that made you think back on your childhood and i think back on my fifth year self and I think back on how things were different times where things were simpler things were mm, feelings were hurt at times and there were times when dreams were shot down and as you got older and have this experience thinking about how life can be and should be um truly just live your life um there's a quote in the movie at the end where it talks about if you have a bad day then live better tomorrow and if tomorrow is bad then work harder something along those lines and it really gave a message of hope and also a conscience where you start realizing that life's about choice it's about um not letting your past dictate who you are it's about uh living the true life and just embracing the simple things of life all right that's mainly it from only yesterday check it out it's fun